Hey guys, this is Naveen. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our Gatling series. Today we are going to talk about one very interesting topic that how to write a request in a loop. It means I want to call up a particular request multiple times, let's see three times, two times, five times. How to do that? So Gatling provides one very important feature that is called a repeat API repeat method. You can create a generic method for each request and you can call them one by one with the repeat. So let's see how to do that. So right click on the simulations. I'm going to create a Scala class and my class name is let's see loop a request. Let's say I'm giving some name like that. This loop request will be extending uh, simulation class <clears throat> and then we have to import three important packages over here. So I simple quickly import the packages like that. And then what we have to do, we have to quickly create one HTTP configuration. So this HTTP configuration also, let's see, it's created like that. Okay, I'm going to use request res.in. So this is the application. These are the APIs. Simple, I'll be calling list of all the users, single users. And then let's say I'll be taking one post call also. So three methods I'm going to create for three APIs. So let's see how to do that. It's very simple. So I'm going to use a Scala method over here. So one method I simple write, let's see, get all, this is my own custom method, users a request method which is equal to this is starting body and ending body and then I'm going to use a repeat method repeat how many times you want to call this particular method two times let's see starting bracket and ending bracket and what kind of API it is so simple write execute HTTP uh, let's see this is my get all users request it is like that and then what kind of API call this is a get call and for the get call, I simply write, let's say API slash users. So I simply write slash API slash. We don't need to write slash because after dot in, I have already taken it. I simply write API slash users. And what exactly you want to check? So I simply say that, okay, I want to check status is, let's see, 200. And that's it. This method is ready now. And then I'm going to create another method, let's see, for the single user API. So I, instead of get all user, I simply say get a single user request two times get a user request or get a single user request status. And for single user, let's see, I have to change the service URL users slash two. So I simply write, let's see, user slash two. I think for list all the users, we have to pass uh, this query parameter, guys. So let me just copy this uh, from here users question mark page number two okay and for single user we just need to pass id equal to two over here page equal to two means from the page uh, pagination two give me all the users and expecting 200 response code which is fine now i'm going to create another method for the post call so a simple write let's see uh add a user request <clears throat> which will be a post call so this is a method that i'm going to create i'm going to repeat again two times and uh, execute method with HTTP and write a request name. My request name is let's see add a user request and then what kind of API it is. It is a post call and for post call. What is the service URL? So for the post the URL is slash API slash users. So I simply write slash API slash users over here and then do you have any method bo uh, response body? Yes. The response body is coming from raw file body, which is coming from add user.json file that we have already kept it over here under resources folder. <clears throat> right? So what we have to do, we have to just give the path of this particular file. So raw file body uh, start with the current package, go to SRC folder and test the resources under resources. There is a folder bodies and then the file name is add user.json file. Right, you can see that this is the exact same file SRC test resources. I have used it over here. Make sure there is no spelling mistake. Yeah. And after that, you have to convert into as JSON. And then if you really want to check something status, I want to check when you create the user status should be 201. You can see that uh, for this request for the post call. The request will be 201. The data got created. Okay, so these are the three methods guys that I have written now I simple start creating my scenario So I'm going to create a variable scenario, which is equal to scenario method. I'll be calling 
and let's say I'm going to give a scenario name. Scenario name is user request scenario. Whatever the name you want to give. And then one by one with the help of execute method, I can start calling these methods. So let's say I'm going to start this method get all user request. So I simple type get all user request. This method will be called. So you don't need to write the same code again and again. So simple call this particular method and simple call it. So it will be called two times because we have written uh, repeat time equal to two. Right. So and then after that, I want to give a pause. So let's say I want to give a pause of pause of two seconds, something like this. And then again, I'm going to write execute method. And then next time I want to call get a single user request. Again, I want to give a pause pause for two seconds. And then I want to call execute mm, this one add a user request and that's it. See, this is so nicely uh, returned that easily we can reuse the exact same code and we can call the respective method whenever it's required and then that's it. And now I'm just going to call my scenario. I'm just going to inject the scenario with the setup. So let's create a setup over here. And uh, inside my setup, I simply write this is my scenario and dot inject and uh, add once user only one single user. And after that, I simply write dot protocols HTTP configuration protocol that we have already created. And that's it. Okay, it looks much better than earlier. Now I'm going to run this particular loop request and let's see it is picking or not. So I'm going to start my engine. So run the engine and then we will pick up this particular simulator simulator name is loop request which is coming on the fourth number you can see number four type four over here and let's see I'm writing the description as testing and run it. So you can see that pausing for two seconds and executing the next script and it depends how many repeats that we have written so you can see that. Okay, it's saying we find 201, but actually found 200. Okay, so we will check this thing. This is the post call as JSON. Fine. What we can do, we can give a range over here in and 201 to, or we would say that 200 to 201. Like this, we can give a range and let's run it again. Although I'm not bothered about the status right now. Okay, so phone number once again and testing. Description guys, you can give anything. Okay, so absolutely fine. There are no errors and you can see that uh, yeah, the request count is around eight requests got executed with these loops. But let's see the report actual report. And you can see that guys that uh, one by one the logs also you can see all the reports see this get all user request and then get single user request then add a user request which is redirecting to okay two times and again redirecting with the single user and add a user redirected with two times but let's see the report so i'll just copy this entire report from here to here this is the index.html file and then open in a new tab and let's see are we able to see the multiple reports i mean multiple hits so I'll simply go to the details. You can see that uh, get all user requests two times, add a user request also two times over here. Single user also two times you can see one time and one time for this. Okay, so you can see that okay, yeah, the, the loop is working fine and uh, the multiple methods are getting executed on the basis of the scenario that we have created and you can use them anywhere whenever it's needed. So you can increase the loop count also repeat time also you can increase that. So it's a very helpful API guys available. You can apply for any kind of uh, scenario and start using it. That's all for this particular video guys. Thanks for watching. I mean automation last please subscribe to the channel. If you are liking such kind of videos for Gatling and let me know if you have any issues till then take care and God bless you all.